Hi, this is Gretchen from Simplified Parenting. Encouragement for parents that seek simple solutions. Well, today I have two special guests, Gerald and Piggy. They are the creation of Mo Willems. If you haven't read any of his books, you need to. They are hysterical. They are so funny. And they're great also as an easy reader. Uh, Max and I will be all cuddled up and grab one of his books and Max will read Gerald's part and I'll read Piggy. It's perfect. But today they're going to help me. They're going to be props. And as I've told you in other videos, props are so helpful when teaching children all kinds of things. In this video, we're going to be talking about a sincere apology. I love my bottle cap collection. I've got such variety. I'd like to build with them and to sort them. Piggy! I'm so glad you're here. I'm so, so excited. My grandpappy just finished another thing of orange juice, so now I have three orange lids. Aren't they great? Aren't they great? Aren't they great? No. Bottle caps are boring. <sighs> Mama was in the other room and she heard the conversation. She comes in. Piggy? Yes, Mama? I heard what you just said to Gerald. You go say you're sorry right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Piggy's mama was paying attention to that apology and it made her reassess asking Piggy just to apologize. And they spent a good week talking about a sincere apology. When I was in the classroom, I never demanded children apologize because what I wanted was empathetic children I wanted ones that were going to make restitution. restitution for their what they have done. I wanted change behavior. I wanted that in the classroom and I wanted that in our home. And so the blanket, I'm sorry, was never something I pushed. And but apologies are important and so I looked at the word apology and I just found some striking words, regret, remorse, or sorrow. Wow, that, that really impacted me as an adult and how when I need to apologize to my husband that I really have the, that I really feel that way, that I'm not just instead being, these are some counter words, defensive or making excuses, or justifying my behavior. You, you want your children to be sincere. We really want to have them understand that their words and actions, the, the impact of their words and actions. So like I said, Piggy's mom and Piggy spent a lot of time talking about a sincere apology made a smiley face out of my bottle caps. <laughs> I love bottle caps. Oh no, here comes Piggy. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Piggy. Oh, what's going on over there? Nothing, nothing, nothing to see here. I brought you a bottle cap. I finished some bubble bath and I thought you would like it for your collection. Really? Thanks, Piggy. I could really tell in that video that Piggy and Mama had been talking and that Mama had talked to Piggy about empathy and how it felt for Gerald when she said his bottle caps were boring. Now, maybe to Piggy, bottle caps are boring. <laughs> Fair enough. But being an empathetic person is the key to being an empathetic person is that you realize that it doesn't matter. You love Gerald. 
and you can be kind and be excited for his excitement about bottle caps. Earlier in this video, I also shared that I tried to instill in my own family and, and the uh, children that I worked with as a teacher of making restitution for a mistake. Now, what does that mean and what does that look like? Well, if Gerald wasn't paying attention and he came and knocked over all the work of building, that Piggy had been doing since after breakfast. She'd been working so hard. She'd be so upset. Now, we would not want Gerald just to go, I'm sorry, even if he's really sincere. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I just wasn't watching where I was going. And then he leaves. No, we. what we would want and what we need to do as adults and to teach our children to do is to make that restitution say i am so sorry use your words because that's important at this moment i am so sorry i need to be more careful what can i do piggy how can i help i know you worked really hard i'm trying to remember what it looked like let's put it back together and then piggy and gerald work together and that's the change behavior that's the change behavior that piggy had when she was being more empathetic. And that was the change behavior that we wanted from Gerald to be pay more attention, but that he's gonna work out the mistake. That's what we're hoping for. Thanks again to author illustrator Mo Willems for these great characters and to Cole's Cares for these plush toys and the books they sell. If this was an inspiration to you, to God be the glory. I'll be praying for you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.